The crowd pounding, earth shaking, window rattling, beast of the Northeast. Pouch holds on to the race lead here over Briggs Danner. Now. Out of Frenchtown, New Jersey. And in the 15P, it's Billy Pouch Jr. Out of Elizabethtown, New York. Behind the wheel, the Adirondack Auto, car number 35, Mike Mahaney. Are ready to rock at Bridgeport. What is up guys? Just rolled in to Bridgeport Speedway. We've got the Super Dirt Car Series. We've got Mike and Billy racing in the Modifieds. And we've got Dad racing the Speedster. Just rolled in. I'm gonna go rip my new butthole because <laughs> he didn't, I don't know if he saved Billy a parking spot because now they're not even next to each other. And Dad's all the way up top. I mean, this is this is this is already adding to my stress levels, but it's fine. It's fine, guys. Everything's gonna be fine. So rolled in with Dad. Uh, the boys left a little bit before uh, we did, so it is gonna be a non-stop night. Pray for me, cause my anxiety is already going through the roof. I can feel it right now. But positive thoughts. It's it's gonna be fun. It's just we're just here to have fun and win. <laughs> We got the crew for the evening. So just for reference, Dad's all, you can't even see, eh, barely see his speed. So Dad's all the way up there. We got Billy there and Mike back in the corner. Finisher in each heat race. We'll go to a Dirt Vision interview. It'll be at the scales. So what would up on the back coming to the infield? We'll uh, oh man. Yeah, they really changed the schedule. All right. Kind of disappointing there's not that many speedsters, but uh, heat race? Top four redraw. Everyone qualifies. Okay. That, that makes my life a little easier. Oh. <laughs> Seriously. Alright, so they both drove really freaking well. But apparently that doesn't matter. Ah, so I just had Peter Britton trying to explain to me. Basically, it's they're switching it up from what we used to do. But basically they drew. That sets us up in like flight A, flight B. They go out on their hot laps and then it kind of segments down. So both are in flight B. There is a potential of them being in the same heat race, but depending on how they time, that if like they both time really well, it would split and they would be like, one would be in the third, one would be in the fourth. So just pray for that. And only eight speedsters. Yeah. And they cut the feature down, but as long as that has fun,
It's moving, but I don't know what the problem is. Um, however, I've got Skylar, Porcanine, Mike and Billy all the way to the other side of the pit, so hoping she's got the cameras under control, because they're not going out for their time trials. We gotta make sure Dad's okay, so we're like literally all hands on deck right now. Dad's seeing a fuel pickup problem, so they're taking the whole side off, got the rubber rail off, panels are coming off. Hopefully we have enough time. We should have enough time. Plenty of time. Okay.
top five. We'll go to the show. Top two to the redraw. Mahaney and Smith wheel the wheel up into turn number one and two. We'll see if Mahaney has the power to take the lead down the back straightaway. He'll take the spot away as it's now Mike Mahaney, your new race leader through turn number three and four. Mahaney going to go to the top side. Smith comes back on the bottom, but the 35 will have the momentum. Yankowski one spot out of a redraw position. See go for the 35 on Mike Mahaney as he powers on the top side of the racing surface. He'll go to the bottom and try to create more space between himself and Darren Smith. Smith, one last shot, not going to get him off a turn number three and four. Give heat race number three to Mike Mahaney. Mahaney will win it. Second will be Darren Smith. He'll and Mahaney actually with a flat tire coming on this one as well. So a big run by Mahaney to pick up that heat race win and holding on. As a work down off a of turn number three and four, we will go green in heat race number four. Five more cars to lock in into tonight's 75 lap feature. Six laps distance, it's Danner, it's Pouch Senior. That is your front row. Green flag is out here for heat race action. Danner and Pouch into turn number one and two. Pouch holds on to the race lead here over Briggs Danner. Now Danner has competition for that second spot here. Is Danner going to lose that second spot? to the 56 machine. So Buck Walter taking over that second spot there to Danner and now he goes after the top spot here to Pouch side by side. These two will go drag race to the line. New race leader, give it to the 56 there of Buck Walter. Buck Walter leads in the turn at one and two here. He's gonna take advantage now. Danner takes over second and problems for Billy Pouch Sr. there. So Pouch Sr. had problems in hot laps. Now problems yet again here. Seriously, thought maybe like it'd be nice if everyone is Green nice and smooth. Maybe it'd be just nice and smooth. I'm getting pushed in. I, I don't know. Cloud and Weimer, are you looking at the one spot? Cloud and Weimer, are you looking at the one spot? Cloud and Weimer, are you looking at the one spot? Again, you're fighting socket and seven six teeth. Cloud and Weimer, are you looking at the one spot? Oh boy. Oh, I'm catching a pitch, catching a pitch. Feature redraw. 
56. The race went good. We started second. We were able to win it. Uh, original start. I didn't get a good start, but on the, on the second restart, was able to stay side by side with the leader and, and uh, get by him halfway through the that lap. And um, car was slightly on the tight side, but really digging. A lot of, a lot of traction. Really happy with it. Um, very happy with the engine. And the, my crew is doing a great job. And, uh, Fingers great. crossed, cost yeah. for a good redraw. Yeah, hoping for a good redraw. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm excited about tonight. You know, Bridgeport's a tough track for me sometimes, and uh, tonight's looking better than usual. So. That was pretty good. Right. That was pretty good. You want to honest me? Made the show. We started uh, fourth McConsey and won it. 
absolutely suck to start the night and uh we're gonna throw something at it knock the fence down or go somewhere trying oh jeez okay okay hopefully not <laughs> I just recorded it. Really starting deep, that's all I got. Mike starting deep. 75 laps. It's gonna be great. I don't have the water in the track, but. Um, I, I got nothing. 75 laps, oh. Should be fine. But if, if a pit stop were to be needed, um, if you didn't notice, Todd loading up the tire stack. And by the way, they are doing the, oh here comes dad, the Le Mans lineup. So guaranteeing the cameras are not making it 75 laps. So in the meantime, I'm having my dinner. Our loaded fridge here. My yogurt and berries, I am freaking starving. All right, what happened? Rough night in Speedster country. <laughs> Uh, first we had fuel issue problems, we got that straightened out, missed warm-ups. Then we went out in the heat, we got to start second to Danner, we got the lead and led for a lap and then all of a sudden it just started popping and cracking up and uh, I think I think the mag, something happened with the mag there, we gotta go home and uh, we didn't have a spare mag so we just uh, decided it was too much work to borrow one and put somebody else's on there and said to hell with it and load it up. Well thanks. Um, Julie never had this much problem with a speech stir, but no. I guess it wasn't meant to be, and it wasn't meant to be. So, we'll look our wounds and go home and figure out where we're going next. Race fans, it's time for the ultimate thrill ride as the beasts of the Northeast gather for wide. Here come the drivers strapped in their 800 horse saddle, saluting you as they prepare for battle. It's the big block modified, super dirt car series.
It really is freaking hammer. I mean, he pulled away from Mike. But momentum, man. Freaking momentum. All right. Let's keep going forward. Perfect. Second, all the way up to third. How are we able to get by so many cars to make this race track for you here? A lot of laps. <laughs> I think I suck so bad at time job, I'm gonna fire myself and I own the race car. So uh, we dug yourself out of a hole, we get free enough, and we do laps in the car too. We just kind of play it to be that. Trailer, they told uh, the tech. Trailer? Yeah, the dirt guy told me. Yeah. Are you getting pushed? Oh, we got four wheeler. Yay! Ah! Thanks, Matt. Okay, hey, how do you guys feel about your driver? <laughs> did a hell of a job, didn't he? he did okay. <laughs> he did okay. You Our charger award. I sure as heck hope so. We're gonna get the left rear change. Oh, 
I don't know. I was so bad after the heat race, I didn't even want to talk to the dirt track untold. And I feel bad for you guys, but I was literally embarrassed. I'm going to put my head in the sand and bury it. Um, <laughs> Man. So we uh, we worked hard, really did. These guys, man, these guys work hard. You know, when you're down, people leave you. And when you're up, people come around. But these people stick with us, and I was happy to get a good run for them. You know, that's that's really what it's about. And without the sponsors and everyone that comes on board, and just late nights and time away and trying to figure this shit out. It's, uh, I never said it was going to be easy. <laughs> I think I should have listened to Kenny Schrader play golf years ago. Probably would throw some clubs around, but very solid night. Um, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's just different right now. You know, this place, um, as I told uh, Pete, it's the same as what it was last year. There's just no top to roll around the holes like there was last year. And that's what kind of salvaged it for a while. If they can figure that out, it'll be back to where it was. They'll get it, you know what I mean? And that's that's the truth. So I'm happy these guys work their ass off. Um, we're going we're gonna to put this car down to nothing, I think. This one, the whole body's coming off, Todd. Um, and thanks, these guys. We're going to load up, and, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll catch you for EP3 action on Friday. I, I, I'm going to tell you after the fact, but you look like you got, like, cat eyeliner going on oh, here. Shit. Yeah, I know. I don't really know. It's filthy out there. Sorry, distracting I'll, I'll tell you, I was dying about the end of the race, though. So, uh, You're back? Yeah, a little bit of everything. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> we survived it. We'll take that, you know? Very right. good run. Woo. Thanks for the guys. Started race in eight. She wasn't really going forward. We maintained a little bit, but then uh, something back in the right rear kind of wobbled. So, I milked it for a while, and then we pulled it. So, uh, that's fix it, and hopefully it's still fast on Friday. Bad for the car. <laughs> well, oh my god, no one, no one fixes me like I try to fix them. <laughs> so, you know, it was a good race when dad is still here. Still here. So, Mike's loading up, Billy's loading up, dad's loaded up. I'm getting hit in the ride. He's first one to go. Last one here, first one to go, isn't it? Well, he also didn't race the future. So, anyways. Um, arm out, don't miss me. So, <laughs> we got one that didn't make it, one that didn't finish, and one that did really freaking awesome. Talk about a roller coaster of a day. Hang on a second. Um, yeah, so, like Billy said, I mean, new surface, but racy. Just, they're, I think this is our second race, if that, of the, of the year. So, uh. It'll get better. It'll get better. We'll be back. But let's just pray that it's not another three car night because your girl can't handle that. But shout out to Skylar. Thank you so much. And Steve for getting all the extra footage when I was not there because they all came in clutch. So whatever extra footage we have, guys, thank them so much. Appreciate you all. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, head over to Patreon, become part of Club DTU, and um, like Billy said, we'll be back. I think our next race is Snydersville. If anyone wants to come hang out at Snydersville, we've been kind of trying to keep that on the down low. <laughs> but if you guys want to come watch Seven Year Old Race, that's where we'll be on Friday night. So, um, yeah. Well guys, absolutely unreal. Like, uh, how does this happen that I literally start the camera for the feature and no, no, no footage, no front freaking camera footage on Billy. Literally drove his butt off and I've got nothing to show for it and there's probably no footage of it at all on dirt vision <gasps> sorry i i don't i don't understand gopros what are above <laughs>